shop. This is place the movie fan. And it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing Birtal the Jankovic story. So without further ado, let's begin. Now this is basically the biographical movie of Birtal. Or at least I thought it was. But apparently it's satire. More on that later on in the review when I get to spoiler territory to explain why I have an issue with that. Anyway, basically this story is about Birtal. A guy who was raised with abusive parents who wants to become a musician, but his parents don't let him. I'm gonna start by talking about Virtor, played by Daniel Radcliffe. Now, he's a very misunderstood artist. A lot of people fucking love his songs, but he has a hard time getting big people in the music industry to take him seriously. Honestly, that does suck, but he still fucking tries to keep on going so he will eventually become popular, which was up pretty easily for him. But when people don't take him seriously and that is sad. Honestly, I feel sorry for the guy, I really do. He just wants to make good music, that's it. So legitimately good music. I totally understand where he's coming from. Now his father is Nick Jantovic, played by Toby Hirsch, which is Al's father. And I'm just going to come right out and say it. His father is a complete fucking cunt. I couldn't stand him at all. He wanted to make damn sure that Al couldn't go for his dreams and make damn sure that he wouldn't be a musician. Wow, what a cunt. Personally, I think this guy deserves to be fucking arrested because how he mistreats his son is completely fucking unacceptable. Now then, the third and final character that I want to talk about is Mari Jankovic, played by Juliana Nicholson. Now, the father is a cunt, but the mother is it much better. She legitimately thinks that his father has good intentions and has valid reasons behind what he's doing. Fucking no! I'm glad that she is a bit nicer to her than his father is. But that's not really saying much. The fact that she's siding with him shows that she isn't much fucking better. Now then, this is a pretty good movie for the most part. But there is one big problem that I have with the movie. Two actually. But I cannot talk about these issues without getting into spoiler territory. So let's spoil some shit. Just a warning ahead of time. There are gonna be some spoilers. If you don't want the movie spoiled for you, skip to the part of the video where I'm done with the spoilers. There's a text on screen that tells you what it is, so yeah, just bear that in mind. The spoilers start now. One big problem that I hate with this movie is that I don't think it's historically accurate. I mean, according to this movie, Al was the one who made the song Eat It and it came before Michael Jackson's song Beat It. Except after doing research, I found out that in the real world, Michael Jackson's song Beat It came first. What the hell? That means that the movie has some misinformation. Though, after doing further research, I found out that this isn't a legitimate biographical movie. It's instead a fucking parody. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be honest, that doesn't make the situation any better. How the hell was I supposed to know that this movie is satire without specifically looking it up? I mean, the movie does such a good job convincing me what happened to the movie really happened. There are a few silly moments in the movie for sure, but for the most part, it's a serious movie and you can easily imagine all this stuff happening in real life. What the hell? Yeah, changing those events to make it work for the movie wasn't a really good plan. Even if the movie is entirely fictionalized, it's impossible to ignore this big change to what really fucking happened. I mean, it doesn't make the movie more interesting or fun or anything. This change on what really fucking happened didn't work and didn't do the movie any favors. Oh, and I also hate the ending of the movie. Al is fucking killed by the end of the movie. I know that the real person of Al is still alive, and honestly, an ending like that is just downright disrespectful to the real person. How the hell does fucking killing of the real person benefit the story in any way? It does, it just comes off as disrespectful to me. Yeah, unfortunately, those issues that I have are impossible to ignore since the movie focuses so much on that fucking beat it versus eat it thing and the ending is disrespectful. I still think this is a good move for the most part, but those things really bothered me. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This is a good movie. I like it. But the issues that I have with it, which I talked about in the spoiler section, are impossible to ignore, so... I'm unfortunately gonna have to give it just one thumb up, being that it's good but not great. Well guys, we're the end of the video, thank you for watching and have a great day.